Yeah, Ismail al Shabazz, seeing the non aligned movement took place in Iran's capital, Tehran, was a very good move, very political strategy. And it make Iran and show the world that Iran is not so isolated, according to American and Israel media, you know, media manipulation uh, with their sanctions. Iran been getting sanctioned from America since 1979. And Israel see Iran as a threat. And what sanction Israel put Iran? So the Zionists work with America because they know only they could do that. But sensei, you don't sanction a country for its revolution. Libya been through a revolution for Gaddafi. You know, a lot of countries been revolutionized. But I never hear other countries get 30 years, that's 20 something years that sanction for their revolution. They're not arming no terrorists, they're not doing nothing. All they're doing is focusing in their region that they belong, which is the Middle East. And they want their name to be known down there that they can play a part of any political order. And America know that. Iran been there when America invaded Iraq. They supported what they supported. They didn't back down. So America know that Iran is not going to just back off and take bullets. They still have an eight year war with Iraq and American nuclear weapons that they gave Iraq. So they're not going to back off. But to me, those sanctions are senseless. It just showed the, um, you know, the past that to be changed. But the world, I thought that America would change on a Barack skin color. But they was wrong because he didn't change nothing with Palestine. That's what they expected. So skin color, is, they learn in America that skin color ain't nothing. Those who expected something here, like the black agenda back then, but that's past. And I realized color didn't mean nothing to my behalf. So the whole world, because your color would know that black color is not so important. That's how some made it look before certain thing. But you will understand that's just psychological thing. But we speak about Palestinian. You know, the real Hamas government is the real prime minister there. And it's just because it's not, they want a free and free election. In 2007, Habas, through America's sanction under the Bush administration, or Israel trying to use that to get Hamas out. And still, what happened? We don't see nothing good for Palestine. So it don't make a difference whether Hamas or Abbas or Fatah or Hamas. You're still Palestinians. The Zionists in America, APAC Congress, still going to look at you as the same people. There's no difference. So you just got to communicate with each other and be the best in any political strong. But you know, Hamas caused that with themselves still. They didn't use the penmanship, which is mighty than the sword. They want to send rockets. They want to talk that death talk that, you know, that death to Israel, which is senseless. When you're a politician, you got to be cool. Marcy come in. I don't hear him talking that since he's been a president or before. He's trying to better the economy, trying to better a region. But even though he may not like Israel's attitude, he's still going to try to use progressive limitations and that's what Hamas failed to did when they had the power so that's we know United Nations next week and the non-aligned movement that took place Aaron is supporting Palestinian political membership which is good so it's like last year the European Union European Union and Russia was doing the same but Barack Obama had stopped it but Barack Obama couldn't step out of his jurisdiction and go to NAM submitting Aaron and stop it and even if they kept the name submit somewhere else, Obama wouldn't go there. Because that's be out of its jurisdiction to go to another coalition that's speaking up democracy to stop it as if Iran is so much of a threat to keep name submit there, a political order. So we're going to see what's going on next month. And if Obama, I mean next week, if Obama speak on behalf of the Palestinian, which would be good. Because four years in power, he didn't, he didn't create his own strategy in a political order to be his own boss as former President Bush had did and Bill Clinton being their own boss setting up agenda Obama didn't do that he just talk and go around so I don't see why he never done it he should that's shown that you're the president but Obama talk good but we're gonna see how we talk how we gonna deal with the Palestinian issue with the Zionists that's in America that's giving America a bad name for a local state that's been there since you know 1948 or Holocaust, the genocide war that took place in Europe but you know the world realized Israel Zionists is just portraying war they want to attack Iran just for just attack or America bullied them but I think America is realizing that there's, there's no need to attack Iran there's no real facts America don't want to make that mistake like I did Iraq talking about weapon of mass destruction and nuclear and chemical and there's nothing there so we're going to see and hope there's a good cause at United Nations that looks good. But I don't think it'll be good. We're going to see. So I'm out.